this is my website and it has all the features that a WordPress website has. You can click wherever you want and you can see that it's a full site. But if you look up, you'll see that there is no domain name here. And this website has been installed locally on my computer. What does that mean? Normally, you need to buy a domain and hosting to then create a WordPress site. But if you don't want to launch your site on the internet yet, and you only want to try and test WordPress for free, then you can install WordPress locally like this on your computer. All your website files will be stored in your system and only you will be able to access your website. But you can use all the plugins and themes you want and build a full website like the one I showed you earlier. Now, whenever you finish making your website, you'll want to make it live on the internet with a domain name like this so that other people can also visit it. And I'll show you at the end of this video how to fully move your local site to a live site. Also, there's a giveaway at the end, so don't miss that. Now, there's many different free softwares that you can use to host your WordPress locally on your computer. I'll show you how to do this with Local by Flywheel because that's the easiest free one to use. So let's come to our browser and enter this website address. Once you're on this site, go here and press download. Then choose your platform. So I'll click and choose Windows. Fill in your information here like this and then click Get Now. Remember, this email and password will be needed later on to access your WordPress site, so please make sure you remember it. Now, the software has started downloading and it takes a little bit of time. Once it's done, double click to open it and click here to install it. And once it's done, you can click finish and the software will launch automatically. Now, here you can see that there's the option to create a new site, so let's click that. Now this name is only a file name and won't show up anywhere on your website. So you can name it anything like test website. You can then click on advanced and there's some settings here which you can change. But for most people, it's best to leave it at the default settings. So then come down and click continue. If you want to use the preferred one, these are all the settings that it's going to use. If you want to modify them, you can go to custom and select the exact PHP version you'd like to use, the web server, and the database as well. If you're a beginner, I'd recommend going with the preferred one. So click right here and press continue on the bottom right. And here you can enter your WordPress username, password, and your WordPress email as well. Then go down and click add site. Now WordPress is being set up and this can take some time. When it's done, then you should see this kind of dashboard. Then you can see a site domain right here, SSL details and more details. So now go to this admin button and click it. It will then open your WordPress login page. We can then go ahead and type in the username and password that we had created before and then press login. And here we are in a WordPress dashboard, exactly the same if you were in a live website. You can go to plugins, add new, install a plugin and do everything else that you would normally do with WordPress. Now, if you go on top, you can see that this is a locally hosted site. I can click here and this is what our site looks like right now before you've added any themes or plugins or content to it. Now, what are the three essential free plugins that every WordPress site absolutely needs? Firstly, you need the free version of Malcare to get a good firewall, bot protection and login protection so your site doesn't get easily hacked. Secondly, WordPress sites are notorious for slowing down and losing visitors. So because of this, you should get Airlift, which is also a free plugin, and it will keep your site at 90 plus speed scores like this. Lastly, you will need a backup to restore your site because one day or the other, you're going to need it. So you can get a free plugin like Updraft Plus, but I must warn you that many people have complained online that their free restores don't work properly. So you buy that premium version, or if you want unlimited storage, one click restores and other helpful features, check out our plugin blog wall. The link is in the description below. Once you're done designing your WordPress site locally, you'll want to make it live on the internet by moving it to a web hosting service. So check out this easy tutorial for that and watch this video next to learn how to build a WordPress site.